Latvia is setting up concrete structures known as Dragon Tees as part of a Baltic defense line along the border with Russia and Belarus. Latvia's defense minister, Andris Sprutz, says the Baltic countries are making progress on a January agreement to fortify NATO's eastern flank, aimed Russian aggression. We've been um, under some sort of hybrid offensive already for some years in terms of disinformation campaigns, weaponization of illegal migration, the cyber attacks, some kind of incidents against critical infrastructure. We've seen it. And this again is one example that we are doing our homework to deter aggressor country from even intention. And of course, also doing our homework that we together with our NATO allies, we strengthen our defenses. Sprout says Russia's invasion of Ukraine prompted Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia and Poland to bolster their defenses and strengthen their borders. What happened in Ukraine, it provided additional experience, it provided additional uh, resolve to do it as soon and quickly as possible. So we realize how important it is exactly to defend the uh, uh, country and NATO territory from the very first inch of uh, territory. So that's exactly what we are doing. Latvia's border with Russia and Belarus extends for about 450 kilometers. As a part of uh, total defense, uh, we have to be responsible about our part. We are lying on the NATO for sure and also we have to do our homework. This is our homework. Latvia's defense ministry says the country plans to invest more than $300 million over the next five years to fortify its border. This year already we will be fulfilling the uh, threshold of 3% for defense expenditure. We are among uh, six countries which are fulfilling, uh, let's say, that threshold. Sprouts hopes other allies will step up to invest at least 2% of their economic output on NATO defense, a guideline set by the alliance. We see that when the war started, it was around uh, eight, nine countries uh, fulfilling 2% threshold. Now we see more than 20 countries. Yes, of course, we strongly advocate and motivate uh, our partners, our allies to invest because at the very end, it's about one NATO. It's about capability, efficiency and strength of one NATO. The Eastern NATO and EU frontline countries have also requested that the European Union provide financial support for building a defensive line along the EU border with Russia and Belarus, which, according to some estimates, could cost over $2.5 billion. Moroslava Gungadze, VOA News, Latvia, Russian border.